Frankly, I get this question a lot. Sensei Seth, at what point am I allowed to throw karate kicks in a street fight? What the? And I have answers, but I feel like the only way to accurately do this is to go full icy might and take this to the streets. Bah! Okay, we're good. So. one of the things that I need to think about if I'm gonna start kicking in a street fight, right? Bang. Can I wrestle this person? If they grab my leg, can I wrestle this person well enough that I'm gonna be okay? Now I've got a decent bit of wrestling behind me. I've got a lot of friends who are like D1 wrestlers. And then I've got, I've done jujitsu in the past. And then I've grew up like ground wrestling a little bit. Plus I'm like way bigger than the average person. So I feel confident that if I threw a kick and somebody grabbed my leg, I'd be okay. I'd be able to clinch up, do whatever I need to do, get out of there and then proceed back to what is my safe space, which is punching people from about this far away and kicking them from about this far away. Before you go commenting and you're like, I'd just roundhouse kick somebody in the leg. What are you gonna do if they T-wood you and just sweep that thing up? Now all of a sudden you're like this, you're, you're going full karate kid, but you don't have control of your leg. It's something to think about before you start kicking. I think there is something in that dumpster. Cool. Next location. What kind of kicks you got on, right? It depends. So if I'm in like loafers, it's not that you can't kick somebody in the head, like the motion of hitting somebody in the head with like whatever kind of shoes you want on. I, if I had the balance, I could kick somebody in the face with a pair of flip flops and it would hurt, right? We usually kick each other barefoot. The issue is this base foot, this foot in particular on the ground when I throw a kick is probably the most important part of the kick. Like, yeah, this part's got a hit and everything, but if this part is not there anymore, then my whole game plan has to change. I might be able to miss and put my foot back down, but if this comes off the ground or falls, toast. So you've got to understand, one, what kind of ground you have, and then two, what kind of shoes you have. So if I've got something with no grip and I'm on grass, problem. If I've got something with a lot of grip and I'm on concrete, I might be okay. How well are my shoes tied? There's like 400 different things that have to go along with this. Who are you fighting? If I'm fighting somebody who's really aggressive and they're very obviously coming forwards and coming at me, which is probably the only reason I'm ever gonna be in a street fight, let's be honest. I do a decent job of talking my way out of things as you should learn how to do too. If, you're, if you can't talk your way out of a fight, then you're only training for the wrong reason. But that's not the point of the video I'm making right now. So if somebody's really aggressive and coming in towards you, what, are the, what do you think the odds are that you're gonna be able to pick up your foot, pick up your foot and kick them in the head? And if they're like this, if they're fighting like this and you kick them in the head, like, yeah, it might hurt. But if you get the arm, they might not be going down and now your leg is in the air. With that being said, if you want to like hop in a side kick or a roundhouse kick, that might be different. If you're fighting this big mammoth of a man, your only option might be to kick. If their arms are like constantly going bang, 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 and they're huge, sheesh, you might get smoked if you try and throw hands with them. So maybe your best bet is to go for their knees ah, and try and shove one of their kneecaps into their other kneecap. I didn't like that. Going back to Sensei Seth. Okay, so big question. Have you ever been punched in the face? Because that's, it's important. If you've never been punched in the face before, why are you gonna put yourself in a situation to first get punched in the face while you're like this? If you've never gotten a pop, 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 three pieces of soda gotten teed off on, and sparring and karate and Muay Thai and whatever it is, and you run the risk of being like this, bang, kicking, and then being like pop, pop. Maybe it's not a good idea to throw kicks. One thing that's super important, how far away are you? Am I here? Am I like about to square up here? Obviously I'm not gonna throw any kicks here. Now, this depends on how tall you are too. So if I'm a little bit shorter, I can get away with kicking closer because my limbs are. But if I'm me, I'm not going to be throwing kicks right here. I'll probably throw some right here. Cause I know that the person can't reach me. So as long as I can effectively, as long as, long as I feel like I can safely pick that knee up and drive it in without getting stuffed, then I'll throw my kick. Here's a really, really important one. How often do you spar? How often do you put somebody in front of you and think, okay, I'm gonna kick them now. I'm gonna punch them in the head and I'm not gonna let them hit me back. If you do sparring where you're like, oh, pop, 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 and then you might throw a kick, but you'll get knocked down a bunch. That's probably your answer. Don't throw that kick. I understand that people aren't gonna be as trained out there as they will be in here, but if you can fall down throwing a kick in here on a regular basis, 
Not a good idea. If I'm throwing kicks and they're constantly getting stuck or they're constantly getting caught or they're constantly getting me taken down, then it's probably a good idea not to throw a kick in the streets. This is one of those things where you have to have copious amounts of hours throwing these kicks and feel comfortable to a point that you know, you know for a fact that you're not gonna get taken down and you're not gonna get busted up for throwing a kick. Because to be honest, it's all about self-awareness here. If you aren't self-aware enough to think, a kick's not a good idea here. A kick's not a good idea here. Instead of the fact of being like, I can throw a kick whenever, anytime, right? There's gotta be that level of self-awareness where you gotta understand, my body type might not be throwing kicks. What you're gonna do next kind of depends on what your target is. If I'm just gonna smash one out the legs, you're probably gonna be pretty safe, right? If you practice leg kicks, if you're somebody who trains Muay Thai, if you're somebody who trains some styles of karate and you train these leg kicks, you're probably gonna be okay to throw a kick to the legs. To the body's a little bit different. Body is definitely the most catchable kick, right? Bang, I throw this kick to the body, somebody catches it and then dumps me on the back of my head, might have problems. Throwing it to the head. Talk about dangerous. Look at this body position I'm in right here, right? You're kind of asking for trouble. So if you feel like you can throw it to the head, I feel like I could kick to somebody in the head, I'll be honest. You know, somebody came up to me in the street and was like, hey, give me your lunch money, and I didn't have any, and they were like, well, we're gonna have problems then, and I was like, what time, I take that. I, could, I feel like I could comfortably kick somebody in the head giving the time, and if the rest of these things were correct. But, on average, on more than average, don't kick it to the head if you're on the streets. Not wise. Maybe use some hands. Maybe use that open palm heel strike. Stop! Bring something around, a little reach hand here. Something to really dig in, rather than a roundhouse kick. Now, what kind of kick you're throwing is also very important. It depends on the kick, it depends on the range, it depends on where you are. So if I'm throwing a side kick, I'm gonna have more distance, I'm gonna have more space between my head and their body, I'm gonna have more muscle to push with, more to leg muscle. Love you, Sergio. That's gonna be different than a roundhouse kick. Maybe I can really bust out a roundhouse kick to the legs though. Right, so they have their options. If I just jam in a side kick to their hip, their knee, their body, I'm probably gonna be safe. Me, me. I'm probably gonna be safe. I can't speak for you. This is all a hypothetical, if you were me, if I were you, right? These are the questions I'd be asking myself. Bang, I feel pretty confident that I could side kick somebody in the box. Hook kick? That's, that's asking for it. That's bad news bears. If you throw a hook kick in a fight, you better be, you better be Wonder Boy. That's it, that's your only option. You better be Steve Wonder Boy Thompson. That's the only time I'm saying yes, you can help kick somebody in the head. Spinning attacks, I'm iffy on. I'm very iffy on spinning attacks. No, I changed my mind. I don't want you throwing spinning attacks. Uh, I went from iffy, do they hurt? Yes, absolutely, if you land them. Now, most of the time you have like these defenses for spinning attacks where if you miss, where you have something you can throw and you've got all this, this booty to push yourself off with, but the odds of somebody going like this, catching you in that spin and being like this. Too high, too dangerous, don't do it. Now at the end of the day, whether or not you're gonna throw a kick in self-defense is very dependent on you and your situation and who you're fighting. There's not like one specific thing where I can be like, mm, yes, you can throw a kick because there's plenty of times that I'm not gonna throw a kick. And I've thought about this. I've been like, what would I do if somebody just ambushed me tomorrow? And the answer is, I don't know. But I am confident that I have trained enough in here. I've trained enough at different gyms. I've trained kicking enough. I've punched people in the face enough. I've been punched in the face enough and taken down and grappled and, and been bullied that I feel confident that if somebody tomorrow were to come up in my face that I would be able to do whatever I needed to do whether that be a kick or a punch or a choke or whatever it is. So make sure that one, you're self-aware enough that you're not being like, oh, I throw like 200 kicks a day and I don't really worry about grappling and the punching because I can kick and that's all I need, right? These are long and strong. No, you've got to understand what you are capable of and test yourself in that capability. Now, if you like this and you want to subscribe, I think you should. Now, if you like this and you want more 
uh, karate tricks, if you want more bottle kicks, if you want more Hayabusa gear abuse, then what you should do is you should like and subscribe. You should tell all your friends and you should tell the whole world. You should post on Reddit and Instagram and Twitter. Share it with your buddies. I appreciate you. And if you don't do that, here's the thing. I will have no choice.